Hi there, and welcome to this episode of Consciousness Empowerment. Here we talk about consciousness, the law of attraction, and how to reach your fucking dreams, okay? So today I'm going to talk about success and other people around you, okay? Because something really resonated with me today. UCLA hat, let's go UCLA. For those of you who are new, yes, I did go to UCLA. I got a BA and a master's degree, no high school education. Went to UCLA after I got out of prison. So I know a little bit of um, reaching your dreams. The things that have helped me succeed are twofold, very simple, very fucking simple, okay? Number one, visualization. I always visualize myself being in college, being in university. Same with my fitness goals. I visualize myself having muscles, having a six pack, and it manifested. I was just, ha I just had faith. I had faith it was gonna happen. But the faith kind of happened with me reading a few books, mostly the, the New Testament, the Bible, basically, because it always says it always says it over and over and over and over and over and over again. Believe and you shall receive. Have faith in God and you will receive. Ask and it is given. All types of ways it says that. I'm like, man, is God really like this? I'm like, is God really going to give me what I desire? Um like and i thought to myself about well, this jesus this jesus christ guy sounds like a good guy somebody i would like to be like i wouldn't want to be uh in jail and still doing the you know the the criminal act activity that i was doing so i said okay this is a good example for me there's some you know what people talk about things that are good and things that are bad in the world they tell you what's good and bad you know don't kill don't steal don't hurt people, right? Don't don't hit people and things like that. Uh, don't talk bad to people, like like you know, like don't cuss people out, you know. Be respectful, right? Be respectful, you know. If you if you're at a restaurant, you know you want to be respectful to the people who are serving you and things like that, you know. But if you're with your friends, if you're you're with a family member, maybe you could get, bring them some get bring some attention to them. Like, hey, man, you're fucking up, bro. Like you shouldn't be drinking and driving. You know, that case, in that case, you could put a little bit of cuss words in there just to kind of like be more like, bam, like, come on, man, what the fuck? So just want to put that in there. But it comes from a good place, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of went on a tangent on there. Faith. You have to have faith. Faith in a higher power that you're going to receive what you've been visualizing. Because ultimately... I was fortunate to understand this stuff when I read books of the law of attraction because I read the New Testament and I grew up, I think everybody grows up with the concept of God, either through your family, society, or just like an internal understanding, everyone. So you get that belief that there's something greater out there. Or you can have the determination. You may not believe. You just have determination. And persistence, which equals faith. If you have confidence and faith in yourself, that makes you do the work. Action is faith embodied. There's a story in the Bible where Moses tells the... Um, the kings or the leaders of the of the Jewish uh, people. There will be rain. Go and prepare. And he comes back and then they come back. Hey, Moses, it hasn't rained yet. What the hell? Like, well, have you guys dig the ditches? I don't see any ditches. Dig. Dig the ditches because the rain will come. You're acting like you don't have faith. You guys, you guys haven't done shit. So. And same with you, your actions, whatever you're visualizing, start taking the actions towards it like it's, it's going to happen because it is. You see yourself there and you take the actions, okay? 
Number two, that's helped me out. I wrote it down here. I think I write things down. Immerse yourself in the work. So immerse yourself, get lost in the work. When I focused on going to college, all I did was study. All I did was study every single day, every single day, study, 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 study. When I got out, I want to go sign up and study, 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 go to class, get out, study, study, study. All I would do because I really wanted it. It's either that, me doing good, or me going back to prison, going, going to the streets, hanging out with the same people. There was a type of fear of going back to that. But I wasn't focused on the fear. I was focused on the vision. I was focused on the vision and what, did I, wanted, what I wanted to, to do. Same with fitness. I looked at myself in the mirror. I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. I'm getting shot out, meaning fat. And I'm sick all the time. This is not good. This is not fucking good. My cat wants to get out. That's why he's meowing. Papa! No! And so I would immerse myself in my work. Same, same with your, my goals now. I immerse myself. I attempt to just get lost in the work. If, I'm, if time's just flowing, I don't care. Like, okay, I, I say I'm going to do one or two scripts. And I'm like, oh, wait, no, another one, 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 another one. Another one, another one. You know, just like when I'm in the gym, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to look at the time. Why am I constantly looking at the time? I'm just going to go and flow and enjoy my workout and get myself in a high vibration. That's another bonus tip that I want to share. I always worked out in prison. Always, every single day, because it's mandatory. It's mandatory, you have to work out. So I, I ran with the Southsiders, you know? So, and I was a resident, because I wasn't in a gang, I was in the tagging crew, but, and then there, everybody's the same. You, you run Southsider, you're, you see, you're seen as a Southsider, you do everything a Southsider does. So we had to work out, mandatory. Now, getting out, I would still work out. I was actually doing some MMA, so I was always working out until recently, this past year, I started working out twice a week, maybe once a week to let my muscles grow. And the, the, the strategy did work. I got it from Mike Menser. Mike Menser talked about HIT, just going in there one, one, or, one, one or two reps, you know, just max out, go heavy, you know, make sure you did, you did more than the time before. And my muscles grew. But the days that I didn't go to the gym, I was low vibe. I felt groggy, lethargic, like sleepy. Like if I was in a different dimension, really like, whoa. Like if everything's just a little more hazy, you know? So I started working out every day um, at my apartment here. Now I go, I go to the gym and do power cleans because I, I exert strength. So to have strength and vitality, you must give it. You must exert it. You know, you must, if you want to be disciplined or you want to get a new habit, you must start doing it, even if it's hard. And in time, it will become easier. But going back to the working out, it raises my vibe, my mood, my perspective. I feel fucking great. So that's another thing that I want to share with you that's helped me, not just w with success, but with my perspective. And that, in turn, gives you a life with a positive perspective. Here's another thing. Giving people compliments or complimenting people in your mind, actually. I go out and approach women that I find attractive. Sometimes I don't find somebody that I find attractive. So I want to just be social and compliment. So that's becoming something automatic in my mind. Every time I see somebody, I don't criticize them. Now I just see something good about them that I want to compliment them about. And that means you're in a positive mood, positive thoughts. Positive feelings, positive results, okay? So I hope you like this one. I'm gonna repeat what I went over. Visualizing, key to success. Immersing yourself in the work that's linked to your vision, key to success. Ways to get a positive perspective. Working out daily. Complimenting people or just complimenting people in your mind daily. I hope you like this one. Until next time, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.